Here we have the Bellroy Tokyo work bag and the Mystery Ranch three-way briefcase. Now a lot of you may recognize this Mystery Ranch as the bag that gave me a head injury when I tried to hoist the strap up against a pull-up bar to see if I could to see if it could withstand my weight, kind of like Nathan Drake would do as if he was sliding like off of a vine in the jungle or something while being chased by like tribesmen. Anyway, long story short, we determined the Mystery Ranch can't hold up my weight, and we are not going to attempt the same test with the Tokyo work bag. That said, what we want to determine is which of these two bags is the best kind of like everyday carry slash bring it to your office slash bring it do you bring it with you on like an airplane slash traveling with kind of bag and to determine between these two bags which one is going to be the best to do that. Now if you want an in-depth look on the Mystery Ranch uh, please feel free to reference our original video we will link to the description uh, below and we will go ahead and compare some of the features of the Mystery Ranch uh, bag but for now let's go ahead and just concentrate on our Tokyo work bag from Bellroy. Now, a couple of quick specs out of the way. The Bellroy work bag is 20 liters compared to the Mystery Ranch's 22 liters. Now, those measurements always tend to be a little bit on the arbitrary side, but we did find that truly the Mystery Ranch can hold a little bit more stuff. It can also convert into a backpack, which the uh, Bellroy Tokyo bag cannot do. That said, they do share some similarities. The material on both bags are kind of water resistant. You could certainly ride around in the rain on this thing or get, get poured on. Probably wouldn't recommend submerging it, but nevertheless, if you got caught in a rain shower outside in New York waiting for a taxi, you would be more than fine. There, there is a waterproof lining on the zipper as well, so that makes sure that water isn't going to leak into the bag itself. Uh, on the back of the bag, you don't have backpack straps, but you do have a strap to strap it to the back of a piece of luggage. It's kind of nice. Mystery Ranch doesn't have that. It doesn't necessarily need it, but it is actually kind of nice when you are floating around in an airport and you've got a piece of roller luggage that you can go ahead and just slide this thing over the handle and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Another key difference between the Bellroy work bag and the Mystery Ranch bag is that Mystery Ranch doesn't have a water bottle pocket on the side of it, but the Bellroy does. Now, the water bottle pocket on here is a little... But that said, it's there for those that do have a small one. Got little nice detailed leather zippers and everything on the zipper pulls. You do have two zippers and they can kind of go, they're omnidirectional, so... Like this, they are completely shut, but then you can slide one over here and it's open, or you can slide the other one over here and it's open, and that's kind of cool. Nice sort of little design tweak of the Bellroy work bag is that you've got sort of like, it's, it's almost like it's just sort of like an umbrella over your stuff right here, right? So like right here, you've got access to nothing, but on this side, you do have access to the water bottle pocket if you wanted to get, get through that. On the back of the Bellroy work bag is a accessible pocket. Now, the Mystery Ranch does not have a pocket on the back. It does have some stuff on the front, and we will compare that here momentarily. But if you open this up, you certainly have room for papers. And, you know, maybe like a book or a wallet or something. It is pretty cavernous in there. You can certainly fit a good deal of, of stuff. One thing that I like about the Tokyo work bag is that it's, even though it's not quite as spacious as the Mystery Ranch bag, all of the pockets are kind of like, like they have some excess material. There are some manufacturers, bag manufacturers, Peak Design is one of them, that make the bag pockets like so tight to where there's like no like give that once you fit something in there, it then intrudes into the actual space of the bag itself, which we always found to be kind of a real pain in the butt. But anyway, nice little quick snap accessibility, makes it nice and easy to get in there, no big deal. On the front of the bag, You've got what is effectively two pockets. You can kind of see the divide right there. You've got two pockets here, and you've got a zipper, opens these up. In these two pockets is enough to fit like a travel wallet, for example, and probably some like more documents and things. Here's the actual tag from the bag itself. I'll get some close-ups of here in the B-roll, but suffice to say that, you know, it like, it's, it's like handy storage, you know, like if you just need quick access to something like your passport, your wallet, maybe even like a tablet or a book or something too. For example, if you had like an iPad or a, um, a Kindle or something like that, you can kind of stash that in there and it's no problem. When you compare that with the Mystery Ranch, the Mystery Ranch has this awesome little magnetic snap and it's very cleverly designed that when you've got these zippers zipped down, all you gotta do is open it and they kind of unzip with it, right? 
And then on the inside of this pocket, again, you can watch the Mystery Ranch video, but you've got like a little pen area, you know, little spots for pens, little mesh, little mesh pocket and that kind of thing in the Mystery Ranch front. The thing is though, when I have used that front pocket on the Mystery Ranch bag, I have always discovered that things, the Mystery Ranch bag has got a lot of space. It's got a lot of pockets and it's got a lot of organization. And as a result of all that space, pockets and organization, things tend to kind of get lost in your bag. You almost put too much stuff in it to the point that you end up sort of like losing it in there and it becomes kind of a little bit hard to find and fish out. That is by no means knocking the Mystery Ranch bag because I really, really do love the Mystery Ranch bag, but it is just something I noticed when I was using the thing. Uh, before we get to the inside of the Bellroy work bag, do you want to note the little, nice little decorative Bellroy leather patch there on the front, lets you, lets everybody else know what kind of bag you're sporting. And then you have the main compartment access. Now the Mystery Ranch has, actually it's got three zippers on it. You've got two main pockets, and then you've got the expandable zipper, which allows it to go from whatever it is to the 22 liters. But in any event, the Bellroy only has one one main compartment, which actually, again, I kind of like the one main compartment thing, because that was another thing with the Mystery Ranch, I always found myself, and again, I am not pooping on the Mystery Ranch bag, it is a great bag, but I did always find myself losing stuff and not figuring out what pocket was where and where I put what, and you get the idea. In here, you've got the laptop bag. Supposedly, it fits a 16-inch laptop. You can put a 16-inch MacBook Pro in there if you need. You also then have a pocket in front of that, that is, and I'm gonna get a B-roll of all this stuff, pocket in front of that, that is supposed to uh, hold your cords and cables and electronics and other stuff like that too. It just kind of keeps them contained. It's like a little bit of like a divider uh, pocket per se. And then on the inside too, you've got then these two, uh, you've got these two sort of elastic-ish kind of pockets here. Uh, that allows you, again, to put like, let's say a tablet or a wallet or something like that. Or what did I do with that? What did I do with that iPad? I put it in here somewhere. That's right. No, where is it? It's in the front. See, I'm losing stuff in this bag too. You can put that right in one of these pockets as well. And then of course you've got the little mesh bag up here. That's where you can stash kind of like valuables. They say that you can put sunglasses and stuff in there so it kind of keeps them elevated and out of the way. Uh, there is a little key thing somewhere here. Uh, that's right, on this side. In the front pocket, there's a place for you to snap your keys in there. That way you make sure you don't lose your keys. Um, but then ultimately that is it. It is just a slightly more simplified version of the Mystery Ranch bag, but it still has some of the perks. You can get this thing in a, uh, a wide multitude of colors. You can get it in black and blue and also in like green and red and the, I'll put the, I'll put the colors on the, on the uh, front, on the video so you can see which ones you can pick from. But uh, suffice to say, as far as options are concerned, you do have a lot. Um, one little nice detailed touch on the back of the Bellroy on the little snap button. You got the little, the little Bellroy owl on the button. I kind of think that that is cute. And then um, the strap to the bag, which I think this is pretty clever, is on the back of it, you've got these like nice two sort of sturdy pieces of like paracord just holding it up. But it's on the back of the bag, so then that way, uh, that way the bag is like always like kind of favors your hip when you're riding with it on a bike, for example, which sometimes I do. The drawback to this design is that there is no swivel on the strap, meaning that if it kind of gets tangled up like it did right there, you gotta sort of manually figure out how to get it untangled. Whereas on the Mystery Ranch bag, it's got, it's got a swivel one. Now you could obviously just take this strap and put this on the Bellroy and then you've got swivel ones, but it's not really necessary now, is it? The padding on this strap. First off, this is a really wide, wide pad. If you compare it to the Mystery Ranch bag, which doesn't have a pad at all. But Bellroy gave you one and it is like, it's comfortable, I don't really know what to say. Like when I've got my laptop in here and a couple of other goodies, like again, notebook and tablet and Kindle and that kind of stuff, it, does, it just feels good sitting on the shoulder. In fact, sometimes what I'll actually do is use this strap right here as the kind of a weight support for when I have the heavier like backpack on there just to kind of give it like a little bit of extra cushion. That does a pretty nice job. So I am going to switch to the Bellroy work bag as my full-time bag. But 
Let's go ahead and we talked about a lot of the pros. It's like water resistant, it's got a lot of storage, it's well built. I mean, this thing really is just as well built as the Mystery Ranch bag, I would say. These handles, they did a lot of really nice attention to detail on the handles. They're just sort of soft and plush and tough and feel good. All of the zippers and clips and snips and everything just feel really nice as well. But yeah, let's talk cons for a second. Oh, oh, and that end, and like the kind of khaki interior on this blue model, for example, very, very easy to find stuff. I have found that it is actually quite easy to lose stuff in the orange interior of the Mystery Ranch bag. That was one thing that I was really impressed with originally, was that the orange allowed your stuff to kind of stand out but I find myself losing stuff a little more than I suspected I would. Uh, anyway, in any event, um, let's talk some cons now, shall we? The two pockets on the front are a little bit hard to get to. They're just a little, they're just a little bit tight. They didn't allow this to open all that much. There's a pro to that, which is that your stuff is less likely to fall out if you accidentally leave the zipper open. That was something I was always really concerned about when going through an airport with the Mystery Ranch, is that the shallow pocket, when you inevitably don't zip it every single time you use it, I was always kind of afraid things like my passport or wallet would fall out of the front. And the reason why they were in there in the first place is because it was just sort of easy access to like get to when you need to like give it to customs or a TSA agent. But in this case, because it's a little bit tighter to get to, you're like a little less scared of stuff like falling out. So I guess that it's both like a pro and a con. Now another con with the Bellroy Tokyo work bag, in my opinion, is the water bottle holder. I just don't find it all, well first off, it's not big. It can only fit some skinny water bottles. Now this water bottle, because it's got the little rubber thing at the bottom, it's gonna be impossible to get it in there because it's just all the friction and everything, right? So let's see if we can fit this thing in here without the rubber thing. Voila, it does fit. But it won't fit under, or not easily at least, won't really fit under the actual zipper here, though. Yeah, let's see if we can cut the force in there. Well, maybe. We might get lucky here, people. I don't want to force it and risk breaking. There we go. Okay, there it is. It's, it's in. That was a little bit tough, though, right? And a little bit annoying. Now, ultimately, you don't have to have it completely zipped up, right? I mean, you can kind of keep it sort of open, and it's not a big deal. And then when you want it, you can just sort of pull it out and the zipper should kind of hold in place. So not a deal breaker by any means, but if you have a bigger water bottle like I am want to travel with, then it probably won't fit in this bag at all. Kind of a little bit of a bummer. But, oh, and one other thing, the Mystery Ranch bag, because it's got a thick bottom, can stand up on its own. The Bellroy, on the other hand, moving, it's tipping, it's tipping, there we go, right? So, lest you have maybe a laptop in there or something to kind of keep the weight down, I probably wouldn't recommend, probably wouldn't recommend putting it on the edge of a table just in case it falls over. Again, not a deal breaker, but something worth mentioning for those that require their bag to stand up unadulterated. Let's, let's, do, a little, let's do a little recap here. I'm just gonna hike this thing up so it looks, so it looks good. Let's do a little recap of the Tokyo work bag here really quick. We're gonna read off the literature that came on the ticket. So, it is made of recycled materials. Love that. I love that it's good to the environment. You've got to be joking me, bag. This is so unprofessional. What are the viewers going to think when I can't even make you stand up the appropriate way? This is ridiculous. The other thing in here, and I'm gonna do close-ups of this, obviously, Three carry options, smooth grab handles, a detachable padded shoulder strap, and a luggage pass-through. It also has ultra-wide opening. The dual-entered zipper provides rummage-free access to the interior. I'd pretty much agree with that. Easy access pockets. Two front zip pockets and a bottle sleeve on the side keep essentials within reach. And then water-resistant exterior. Coated YKK zipper and du durable fabric protect your wor work tools from the elements. And then on the next page. Document slip pocket. This pocket keeps the document or magazines tucked securely against your body. A laptop and tablet sleeve. Padded protection for a 16 inch laptop plus a document or tablet slip pocket. And then two stash pockets. Elasticated slip pockets provide easy organization for smaller items. And then valuable pockets. A raised zip pocket keeps sunglasses and more safely 
and more safely out of the reach of the crush zone. That is what Bellroy has to say about their own bag. Do I like the Bellroy Tokyo work bag? Absolutely. This is going to be my new EDC, my new everyday carry bag. I like this better than the Peak Design bag because it can hold more and I just kind of feel like it's a little less brills. It's not that Peak Design is bad. I just, something about Peak Design just doesn't, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm having a tough time, tough time lining up with a lot of their stuff. And Mystery Ranch, while they make fantastic, durable, awesome Made in America products, problem with their stuff, there always just seems to be something, just a little, looks just something missing from their bags. That said, it does convert into a backpack. It is awfully spacious and you can fit a ton of junk in there. It's kind of like Mr. Sagan Baggins pants. That's an old all that throwback for anybody that used to watch that as a kid. I, I've really just showed my age. So yeah, you can pretty much fit everything in there and it will get lost. You might not be able to fit as much in the Bellroy bag, but it is just a little bit simpler, a little bit like easier to access to and just kind of a little nicer as an EDC, kind of just sling around your shoulder work bag if you don't need the convertibility. So. That's the Tokyo work bag from Bellroy. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free, feel free to reach out to us in the comments section. Please like and subscribe. If you want to buy one of these bags, please do, do so from our affiliate link. It helps support this channel. And uh, we will be back with another video really soon.